my name is Courtney and welcome to my channel. I am Courtney. And today, y'all, we have first changed scenery. We are outside on the deck. Oh, let me introduce somebody. Low and behold, because he's sitting low. Lean back. Whatever you want to call it. This is my wonderful husband. Introduce yourself, baby. Eddie. <clears throat> Pimp E. Look how low he sit. <clears throat> Y'all, we have an impromptu video because we were just sitting there and we was talking about childhood. So we decided to come on the deck while the bees are gone in, thank God, because they ran me out. And we decided to just talk about our childhood. What was your childhood like? Did you have a good, bad, good childhood, bad childhood? How was it? But if, even if it was kind of bad, you can still remember some good things about your childhood. I'm sorry, y'all. I was taking a nap, and so this is my Sleep nap face. face. Got this. So, <clears throat> get in the comment section, and let's talk about it. But we're going to explore our childhood. Y'all remember growing up, and I know we did this. I don't know if you did this, baby, but... You know, Sundays was just like a holy day back then. And I used to get my friends all the time. I was like, uh-uh, don't lie. It's Sunday. They were like, oh, man, you right. Uh-uh, tell the truth. It's Sunday. Uh-uh, you don't supposed to cuss on Sunday. Now, look, we as little kids, you know, cursing, like, stop. Like, y'all had a little contract. Like, y'all couldn't curse on Sunday or lie on Sunday. And you couldn't say the word lie when you were a child. I call it because it was a lie. It was a cuss word. Cuss word. And saying the word food was a cuss word back in there. Can see that? Yep. <clears throat> and uh, now I don't know about y'all, but back in the like, day, you know, you're walking down the street with your homeboys, your friends, you're like 10, 11 years old, and you got a crack on the sidewalk, you couldn't step on because you broke your mom's back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did it. And be like, man, don't step on the crack, you're gonna break your mom back. And sometimes we try to make some step on the crack. Man, you try to make me break my mom back, man. <laughs> uh, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. I mean, we I do remember that, but we didn't we weren't that serious yeah, with it. We were serious with it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh what else we used to do back in the day? It was like uh like <clears throat> when you use the rain, you see the rainbow. Yeah. And you try to find in the we we actually try to find the end of the rainbow so you get that gold. Nah, we ain't did yeah, that. Yeah, we did that. See, we gotta stand. I was born. I was raised in projects, man. So we did some crazy stuff like that. What's the other thing we talked about? We oh had? yeah, too too. When we was talking about, it, you said that the end of the rainbow. Maybe you can close that dick. <clears throat> that go. Go. Good. Mr. Walsh want to plop right there. Oh. So, um, but we didn't do that, but when we was talking about after it rained, you know what I'm saying? Like after it rained oh, yeah. and then smoke for us, smoke came up out the ground. We was like the devil was beating his wife. But back when we was growing up, when it was raining outside and the sun was out and it was raining at the same time, we used to say, ooh, the devil beating his wife. And as you get older, you were saying, who gonna marry him anyway? I was like, he had a wife, man. Yeah. He was like wife and children. Yeah. Like, we, he had a whole family and yeah. I had. I was like, man, Dev was beating his wife. It, it rained in the sun outside. <laughs> yeah, Dev was beating his wife. I was summer in the projects like this. In the projects, they used to have free lunches you can go get. Okay? I was I was project bougie. I didn't believe in going to get free lunch. My brother and his friend, they used to go to get free lunch. And they went free lunch so many times they came up with a theme song. <laughs> it goes on like this. Free lunch time. Free lunch time. It's about time to get that free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Every day they used to get their free lunch, man. But that's the way it was in the projects, man. You know, kids back then played with each other. We went out, they entertained. You know, we used to have come up, we had to play kickball. Uh, red light, green light, you know, dodgeball, <clears throat> hide and go. <laughs> we play hide and go seat, and y'all play y'all little fast set, fast set plays, and fast go, hide and go get. Yeah, you know, that's the thing with kids nowadays. They don't, they don't experience that nowadays. They don't have. The kids come over with the bicycles, uh, skateboards, riding skates through the neighborhood. You know, you don't see the 
You do see some stuff because the kids over there playing. You can yeah, hear them I'm on talking the video. About, I'm talking about big group kids. Oh, yeah. some, in the projects, it used to be like 12 of us out there playing, you know. Yeah. We'll play a game. It was so many of us out there playing. We got like a whole team of kickball. You know, we so we had kickball, football, you know. You know, it's just different things, man. You know, like you said, at nighttime and summertime, you just catch fireflies. You know, how many people did you commit firefly murders that you commit? Yeah, you about that ride, they're catching, throwing the ball, put them in the thing, and then mm -hmm. they oh, okay, and then that they would um uh, light up and everything in the glass, and we just be a enamored. We're so amazed, but we was expecting to see them jokers the next morning. They yeah, were dead, it, it doesn't happen, man. But you know, this is the way kids are nowadays, you know, they just they don't have the you know they don't have that support system with other kids and growing everybody had a big mama right so yeah, back in, in the, the neighborhood yeah in the projects we had a big mama in the neighborhood at least one big mama and she always looked up after the kids i don't care what kids they are she looked after the kids <clears throat> she would get on the kids actually back in the day when i was growing up other parents would spank other kids and, and take them to their parents, other parents, you know, would see the child, spank that child, and take that child to their parents. And that, their parents would spank them. Their own parents would spank them also. And we don't, we don't have that no more. You can't even get on a child, on somebody else's child, and tell somebody else's child no or correct that other person's child because the parents will get on you for doing that. And that's where we get the turn. It takes a village to raise a child. Cause the whole neighborhood helped raise the kids. Because who parents or who child that was, all the parents got together to raise that child. And even though we didn't have much growing the projects, we had each other. Okay, you know, life was simpler at that time. Kids got alone. Yeah, you had your little fist fights, but that's all it was, fist fights. But nowadays, you know, it's just different. Yeah, we didn't have no parent, other parents whooping us or nothing like that. But we did have like one lady that was the nosy lady that she knew everybody be because she'd be sitting on the porch. Yes, now they don't get reprimand like they should. But changing gears. Changing <laughs> gears. You remember back in the day, I don't know about you. I know back in the project we had the freezer cup lady. Oh, yeah. Freeze cup lady. They had the candy lady. Mm -hmm. In the summertime, man, it was on pot. And you we walk had around the with, bebop lady. Yeah, bebop, yeah. We walk around with red lips and stuff. Yeah, and suck <laughs> on the thing, and you flip it over. You don't even give it a chance. You just lick a little on top. Then you take that cup, you flip it over, yeah. and then... And and stick then, it out the cup. Yeah, it stick it out the cup. And then sometimes you drop a hole in yeah. the bottle and suck the, the juices yeah, through there. Yeah, you walk so, around you know, the prize. Yeah, man, you look so purple or red. Yeah. You suck in that cup. Then you had, a, she said pickles. Pickles. She said candy, mm. um, whole bag of candy. Like, oh yeah, my we goodness. Had candy lady, the, the beep bop lady. And you know, sometimes her, her business would be on swole. Yeah, sometimes. you go in her house and yeah. be like, how much is this? And, how cool, how much I get for 25 cents? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you had that. And you know, back then growing up, it was just totally different than cause we stayed outside a lot. You we know? did. But during the school year, when you get home from school, I don't know about you, we had to take our school clothes off and put our play clothes on. We had school clothes yeah. and play clothes. And you can't go outside in your school clothes. You go outside in your school clothes, you're going to get a spanking. Then we had to do our homework before you go outside. And my parents used to check my homework before I go outside. There was no stipulation on homework. Yeah, that's why she went to summer school in third grade. But we had. Shame. <laughs> Before we go outside, we had to do homework. If I got my homework wrong, my dad used to check my homework. If I got it wrong, he just like thumped me, said, now go back and correct it. And I just go ahead and fix it, okay, go and correct <laughs> it and fix it. And if I got it right, he let me go outside. Now, the homework wasn't a problem. It was eating dinner. We couldn't go outside to eat all our food. You know, my mom served a little bit of onions. Yum. We start eating at five o'clock. I don't leave that table at like eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, no. Food would be cold. I had to eat that. Yeah, eat Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Oh, spinach. She's a good spinach. You man. like spinach too. Oh my goodness, I used to be there all night long, man. And I had to eat one. I swallowed one bite. A gag on it. Then turn around. I had to catch my breath for like 10, 15 minutes. 
think about it for another 15 minutes. <laughs> Gotta take another bite, man. I just, it was rough, man. It was rough. It was rough, man. See, I didn't have all that. Now, I I think my mom used to say, why you eat your food? Because they're starving people in Africa. Did she tell you that? Yeah. And I'm like, I'm trying to trip, so I'm but you know what? That was never a guilt trip for me because yeah. they always had me wondering, like, well, how can they come get this food? Because I don't understand what they had to do with me. I really did. She never explained that to me. Yeah. And I don't think I used that on my kids. If I did, I explained it to them. But explain it to your children before you tell them something like that. Because I was like, she keeps saying starving people in Africa. What they got to do with me eating my food? Can they? Can you mail this to them? Because I'm not going to eat the rest of this lady. Like, I'm not. Did you get a lot of whoopings? <laughs> yeah, I did. The one thing about the projects, being in the projects, when you got a whoop in the projects, everybody knew about it. You can hear it from outside. Pow, pow. You crying. Everybody outside listening. And you look at the one. You can see them scrabbling around. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come outside, man, you got a whoop it, man. You leave me alone, man. It was just, you know, it's just the way it was in the projects, man. You know what? I need to write a, I need to write a, a project book. Yeah, you know, a book about the projects. Growing up in the projects. Let me make a show about that. From my point of view. Well, it wouldn't be it would be a, a, a long living show. I mean, like what, no, two episodes. No, I, I got so much to say. Oh, okay, I got okay. so much to say. Growing yeah. up in the project, yeah, but um, in the apartment, you know, I got whoopings. Yeah, but let me tell you something. I was dramatic, just like I think I'm animated now. I was dramatic then, but my dramatic was solidified because I, yeah. So when I got a whooping which was not many times, but when I got him, I still cried for two days. And I was telling him, I said, you know what, I'm saying, I'm finna run away. I'm finna run away. She done whoop me. And yeah, she ain't had to whoop me and I'm finna run away. I'm getting up out of here. And I packed my little stuff, just a little. And then I'm like, yeah, when she go to sleep, I'm leaving. And then uh, by that time, I'll be like, that's okay, I ain't mad no more. You get out your feelings, <laughs> And then I, I think I was planning my my escape plan. I was like, yeah, I'm going to run away and she going to miss me. Nah, good for her. Good for her. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. <laughs> now, I remember, I remember when I used to get whooped and I used to say the same thing. When she used to whoop me, I tell her verbally, I just tell her, I'm going to run away. And then she said, well, let me help you pack then. <laughs> Don't forget your pair of underwear right there. <laughs> Oh. Man, she just called my bluff all the time. But, uh, you know, that's one thing I had to say about my mom and dad. You know, even though they were tough on us growing up, you know, it was nothing, It was out of love, you know. Uh, you know. Now, when you come on here to get sentimental? Man, she busted my bum. I'm sorry. Now, he been taking <laughs> He been to start having some crying. He ain't got no tissue out here. He been to go and say, I thank God for our parents that are still living. My mom and his mom and dad. And so, yeah. yeah. Nobody's deceased, so. But, yeah, but growing up in the projects, growing up, period, you know, it just, I wouldn't change it for the world. We didn't have much, but I got a lot of memories, man. And, you know, and, uh, but, yeah, you know, I broke my arm playing football. Uh Got my nose broke playing basketball. Uh, you know, ran up a tree on the on the bike. Hit the bike. The bike hit the tree. Went up the tree and fell back <laughs> on. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Always yeah, into man. something. Oh so, yeah, man. But uh, I'll tell you the funniest thing. When we stand in the projects. You know, you had Legion Field. You know, Legion Field there. Yeah, every time Alabama used to play a football game. Every bird wanna shine too. Every time Alabama used to play a football game, you had. The, the the fans just walked to the right in front of the, okay in the project you had a big field in the project and you had leaning field so the fans just walked past the big field so stay in the camera honey. so we <laughs> as kids we just got to play football for some reason I wanted to shine in front of them people <laughs> I why you were dancing like Michael no, Jackson oh why no we play football and I tried to show my skills I don't think I was gonna get drafted I have you got it and the people say, like, ooh. Oh, you thinking about him? Who they going to say, ooh, he's going to be a star. He's going to mm -hmm. play for Alabama. I'm running the ball and stuff. But, you know, that's, that's a kid. kids for you, man. Yeah, it's my imagination. So, yeah. You still have the camera.
to eat. But anyway, we're about to go get something to eat. Yeah. So, I hope this made you reminisce about your childhood. Oh, I got so much more to tell you guys. Yeah, they will be on several videos. You know what I'm going to do on the next video is your most embarrassing moment as a child. Because yeah. I have mine. I had, it had to be when I was going to Hey, hey, hey. Next video, dude. I was mad too when it happened. I was mad. All right, so that's it for us. I was and so mad. I wish I had a table to flip over. <laughs> uh, I wonder, did you tell me about this one? I think I have. Okay. So, well, that's it. That's all we have. And um, I hope this made you reminisce about your childhood. Let's talk about it down below in the comment section and everything. You can see he's still reminiscing. But so, yeah, y'all yeah, remember the uh, electronic football games, the little men on the little thing? Like, zzz. Man, I had, like, oh, yeah. Some, yeah, I had so many of those, man. And I said, man, I tried to throw the ball. I got to stop the game. Throw the ball to the receiver, man. It was frustrating, man. Why would they make a game like that? Frustrate kids, man. It didn't work right. But anyway. So, <laughs> we'll talk about your most embarrassing moment as a kid. We'll also talk about our, our games, favorite games as a kid. Because y'all know we had shoots and ladders, all them board games and stuff. And, um, man, shoot some ladder used to be my game, man. It used to be my game, man. Especially I come down to shoot, shoot, man. Candyland, oh my gosh. Candyland used to be the bomb, man. I love some Candyland. I'll play Can Candyland right now. You put it right in front of me. Candyland. Mm -hmm. Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And that's all I got. Is that, I'm scared to ask, is that all you got? Not really. Bro. Okay, right well, now. we're going to be out of here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And if you're new, I hope you enjoyed it and make you want to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So that's all I got. I'm not going to ask him, is that all he got? Because he seemed like he can have more. And so, you know, we don't want to make this a two-hour video. So, we're going to be out. And plus, we're going to get something to eat. So, I will talk to you guys later. Go with God and let God go with you. And I'm out. Oh, I'm still reminiscing, man. Woo, child. <sighs> this is bye. See you on the next video. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching. I am Courtney. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Have a great one.